Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 15. Here we are. Get the haste. Um, today we got to... Well, we get to continue where we left before diverting to, to the tea house. Last episode. Um... We, we've been down here, upon Lake uh, Grotto, we've been here, we rescue the dwarf guy down there. But there is a lot of things to be done over there. We need the saucer bark, whatever that is. It's uh, tree related stuff, and there is, oh, as I was just gonna mention, I, I just saw it. I just saw his head there. Let's see. We are already fighting beginning of the episode. Whoa. -ho. This build is insanity. I thought that by now they would have changed or something. I mean, there is not really uh, any, any other change to be made anymore at this point. In the game. But, yeah. There's a few things that... You know, these people really put a lot into 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 it even after release for months. Shit, I can't see him. But yeah, I kind of forgot what I was talking about because <laughs> I got distracted. That one's dead. It wasn't too difficult. But yeah, we're gonna come over here to see about that saucer uh, bark. Invisible. Saucer bloom. There's a TP here. We already had it. What? Wait, who's this? Oh, there it is. Oh, attention to this guy, guys. Do pay attention to this now. So, let's see. Damn it. Mm. If I jump... Oh, there is another one there. He has not seen us yet. Uh, yeah, what I was doing? I cannot jump over there. I swear I could just a minute ago. Nice, nah, still interrupt this, you not. Oh, it isn't. Missed. Wait, this guy is fighting? Never mind. Do pay attention to this guy. Just letting you know. Let's go. Mm, it's too far away to throw anything. It isn't. Easy. Let's get winning some ground. Now me. Oh no, it's them. It's the other sovereign. Yeah, let's get in close. He's not gonna be doing much, I assume. But still, let's get him in the still fight. However, I believe, yeah, because I'm trying to talk about stuff and I can't, <laughs> and I can't finish a sentence. I believe this the the saucer bark. It's for a weapon, if I'm not mistaken. 
So we are uh, when we get to see what that's about. Oh yeah. There it is. Remember I, I told you to pay attention to this guy? We're gonna be reading that. We might want to pay a little attention to that. Uh, I I don't know why I put them all together. Okay, it's not too bad. The damage I mean. Just end them with one of them good, good throws. Oh. Me and my big mouth. There we are. Okay, so first of all, this guy. Let's read it. Scattered notes are scrolled by a chaotic hand. Protector. Guardian of the Adamantine Forge. This is um, what the guy that we found after fighting the spectator. If you guys don't remember that. Uh... That, that's what that guy was looking for. An adamantine forge. From Magma Rose. Only in Magma Destroyed. Hot Hammer, Hot Hammer. Where? And a small map is drawn underneath marked by numerous X's. The following words are scratched beneath. Darn nose. Darn. That, uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that is the guy. That, uh, we had to eventually fight. And we killed. Actually. So there's that. Uh, there is a lot of stuff here. But. Don't know if I should be picking everything up because. Eh, well, it's just a lot of stuff. Tether scroll. Wait, where's that? Ah, oh, there it is. I didn't see it. My bad. An unfinished conjuration scroll marked by teeth, uh, teeth marks and dried uh, slobber. A few words emerged from the model. Scaring, accents, I, I cannot pronounce that. Magma, magma, magma. And more magma. Well, there's that. Uh, these guys don't have anything really. Oh, we got to fight. I actually didn't mean to do that. Please hide. Uh, tell me you can throw him with one of those of yours. Mm, apparently not. Which is fine. This is my time. She can't be that overpowered. Because this is Will. You can surely make him fall. Well, no, but it's um, it's pretty good. Six HP. Come on, shine your moments. <laughs> Thank God. Anyway. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I uh, I want to keep on asking. If you were so kind to tell me uh, audio, how's audio? I've been messing a little bit with it. Uh, it's game too loud. It's my voice too loud. Is it not loud enough? Or all of those things I would like to to know. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. It looks right to me. I don't know. Apologies, but yeah, it's um. A little bit 
I know you're not knowing what you're doing. Right. No biggie. So. Yeah, I I'm assuming it's in this tree. Oh, there's another one there. Is it, is it, is it gonna be full of those guys? Let's just, uh, get to it quickly. As quick as we can. It's too far. Can't cast spell. Yes, yeah, because of the flower. My little trick. Seven, four, and twenty-one. It's insanity this build, and with and with the amount. With the amount of um, pikes and spears that we're gonna get for this character, just so you know, it's gonna be quite cool. I am too close to the flower, am I not? I cannot cast. Can I? I can. Very well. Oh, there it is. So sort of tree bark. I've got the plans and the Sousa bark. Now I need somewhere to craft it all. Yeah. The forge at the blacksmith's house should do. Yeah, that's what I was gonna talk about. Uh, you guys might not remember this, but I think it's the forge in the windmill. Uh, quite a few episodes back. Where we rescue the Underdark Gnome, basically. I think that uh, I think that's the one. I'm not entirely sure, but we do get a weapon with this, and we are gonna be doing the uh, that. And if it's the weapon, I think it is. It's gonna be really good, really good for the party in general. I'm not entirely sure though, so we'll see. Anyway, so we gotta get going with the... Um, first of all, do I have a uh, will? Oh well, yeah, it's got scratch. I probably shouldn't, do it. Uh, shouldn't use it right now. I mean, is it, is it just Will? I, 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 it's been a couple of days since I last recorded, so I don't really remember. No, it's Shadowheart that has the, the death, this one. But it's in combat only, I think. Yes. And on, we go on the scratch. So, as I was saying, we carry on with, um... Whatever plans the um, yeah this one whatever plans the the this sovereign has we have to help him kill the dwergar sorry the dwergar because uh, those are the one that kill his circle as you might remember and more than anything wait what is that holy shit. Dude, I didn't know about this. Fucking Dark Souls. Anyway. They kill his circle. He's not, he's now like on his own. Whoa. He's not gonna come and kill me now, is it? Clever Cuckoo. I don't know what that's about. We'll see about it. Ooh, so we're gonna take a little bit of damage here. It's alright. I'm gonna have to take Carlag as well. Ouch. But yeah, let's 
get to it. So as here actually you can see the dead Dwergar and dead Myconid. The, uh, that's from the fight that happened. And the Dwergar really, they just want to kill the, the mushroom people, the Myconids. Just because they are here, apparently. That's the whole thing. That is the whole thing, it seems. Can't really tell you much about that. I'll be picking this up just for the alchemy and whatnot. Oh, I forgot he can do that. So this is, uh, in case you fail all the survivals, survival checks, the dog is going to tell you, in case you didn't know that. I actually forgot. <laughs> so yeah, good boy. Uh, no, is it not book? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Malachite. Oh, I don't want that. This and gold. What is this? Tombstone? Is this a graveyard? It's not a graveyard. There is only one. The rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world. May you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. Dig up the grave. I do not recall this at all. It's the part you're gonna get mad. Disapprove of that. As you dig, you slowly expose the skeletal remains not. of a large dog wearing a chunky leather collar. Oh, it's a dog. Huh? A dog collar. Uh, leather collar for a large dog. Mirona. It's engraved on the tag, surrounded by a plethora of indecipherable runes. Can I. Uh, I don't know. What is this for? It has to do something surely. I'm gonna send it to camp. Anyway. Surely do something. I don't recall that one at all. Just so you know. A weird noise <laughs> but anyway here's where we want to come it's a uh, well this is a uh, this was a dweller camp or something it's abandoned as we established in uh, two episodes ago executed deep gnome so yeah they, they were killing them and that's why they were uh, chasing Wait, is this any good? Ah, okay. Chasing the gnome that was in the... In the mushroom camp. Just trying to um, get themselves their land. So yes, we can see this whole thing, it's abandoned. But this is actually where fight's coming, I think, so let's try and stealth our way. Yeah, you see? Oh, what? Oh, can I push him? Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. I, I, I doubt, I really doubt we can... I would talk our way out, uh, out of this, so, but, but let's give it a try. 
Oh, of course. <laughs> that is fighting. This is not the first time I have an incredibly long uh, charging screen. I would like to apologize for that. I don't know what's uh, what's been going on. Wait, what the hell? Okay, so this guy. This one there. I'm assuming if uh, if there is more people, I can't see them due to uh, distance. There is, there is those two. Okay. Feel the spear. And again. critical hit that guy I mean there is three of them at the moment so I'm not gonna cast rage I should have cast rage well, they are undead, so... It's... it's bugged. It's glitched out. Well... We can tell wonders about this game, but this game still has this sort of thing, you know? I guess it's alright. Oh, there's also one there? Like... Are they glitched out or are they just, uh, I don't know, invisible? Yo, this guy cannot die. The Sovereign cannot die, we have missions with him. So, she's gonna stand out of the fire, and it's gonna heal him. And again. Oh no, he's gonna hit in the fire. Shit. Battle favors the fearless. Gotta kill this guy. Okay, no, I don't. Still breathing, despite everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure Karlak can handle that. I'm gonna try and just kill this guy. Oof. It's too much movement right there, I think. Only because of the... Yeah. This has range, doesn't it? No, not, not that much range. Anyway, just uh, just a shot. Missed the last one. That's all right. This guy I'm just gonna put here. Not gonna try to engage him into fighting. Okay, so let's see the undead. What are they gonna do? Use all go here. Try to move past me. Right, so I got three people here. So sh they should be fine. First of all, just for lols. Then. <laughs> and as for you. Oh, okay. I never used that one. Ah. 
Oh, one HP, really? Very well. Oh, I totally forgot about that guy. Holy shit. Oh, and there is the invisible one. The invisible one looks threatening. It's not invisible, it's probably glitched out. Oh, shit. That ain't good. Okay. Not now. Is any good? They are both one HP. It doesn't make any damage if they are uh, already ground level, right? Yeah. This is my time. Gonna put one here and one there. Right. Another fight. Let's go. And this guy's too far away. Hmm. That's too much movement, is it not? But apparently, isn't. Let's do this. Brilliant. Ah, oh, disadvantage. We got the bleeding though. Let's play a song. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is the guy I threw away. Okay, there is the guy. Now we can see him. The, the, the glitched out one. It's all good. No, you 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 you're staying there. Um, this little one is too far away for a throw, is it not? Ninety disadvantage. Is it for the blindness? I think I'm not entirely sure. It's the normal, and then. Yeah, why is the disadvantage? Is it because of the blindness? Yeah, it seems like I can't do that shot. I had to be out of there. Why do they always end up with one HP? Large men to release. It seems like I can't really make it. Not have enough movement. To focus. This guy is still around. What a what a legend. some lame uh, healing I do need to uh, get resting quite uh, as soon as possible yeah not I doubt I can make something from there. I, I also used used all of my own thing. Yeah. Again. Okay then. I don't really have. Uh... Cutting to the chase. Goodness, gracious.
Ah, uh, that's not a that, that that's not a a big fall, really. It's two HP there. And let's get down. They're not running from me. <laughs> In the end, it's just not doing anything. It seems. Oh, this is the leader. All right. We still got the berserker looking one. Not bad. No need for rage, it seems. Ouch. Do I have a clean shot? Nice. What about you? Interrupted. Just get down. What about now? Still. To HP. No choice but to keep going. Here we go again. I knew it was gonna miss. <laughs> hey, there is a. Uh... <laughs> What's going on there? There is this guy alive. <laughs> There we go. There we go. <laughs> Gates. Guys, attention to the to the sovereign right now. Uh, yeah, we do. And you guys want to hear that? So nothing much. Grappy Red Axe. Uh, 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 is there anyone? Anyone got anything good? <laughs> Not really. The yeah, Undead don't really have anything. Lockbook. What's that? The reading material. Yeah, it seems like that's it. Let's um let's talk to this guy in attention now. Where's he gone? Welcome to the not to minimize. No, 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 no. I, it gives one an I didn't want to talk to him. <laughs> now. The tumor is excised. The Dwega are dead. Here I break ground. From the dark will a mighty circle rise. My song will fill the grotto. Death doer. The grotto may sustain but one sovereign. One sovereign. In the age of glut, there may be no spore. Eliminate the other sovereign. Mm. So this guy wants me to kill the other sovereign that we met. This is the Dwegar that killed his circle and he no longer serves the circle so he wants me to kill the other sovereign so he can rule or something like that. He can be the, 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 the one that leads the collective mind that they got. 
So here I'm gonna be really honest. I'm just gonna do it because I did the exact opposite uh, in my other playthrough. <laughs> that's quite the <laughs> yeah. That's the only reason I got. Uh, if you don't do this and you do it the other way around, you get a reward, an item, and I already know how to get it anyway, so we are gonna go with it. And it's also, look, it's an Oathbreaker thing. So, you know, we will be following the lore. Uh, the old ways die and something new takes its place. Intriguing. Let's do it. So we did have a reason in the end. Well, he. See, in the end, he did have a reason for that. Uh... But yeah, I do want to see what we can get if we do it uh, this way or, and instead of the other way around. So I'm gonna go with. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go and ask him what we can get out of this. Three scrolls. Keep your allies steady and your foes fearful. Melodies of peace, even in war. A gift of circle glut. Three scrolls. It better be good. Like, <laughs> I really hope it's not fucking three scrolls, like level one. Uh, okay, why not? Sports time is done. Come then. <laughs> will. Got that. Need and I will sing its doom. The age of glut begins. And also, guys, just so you know. That is one hell of a fight, I think. Like, it's the entire thing uh, up there. Here. No, here. So, that's gonna be... Well, interesting, to say the least. Shattered Dweller, what the hell? It's all Viscera here. But yeah, we're not gonna be picking all the stuff here because I wouldn't go sticking your hand in. Because there's a lot of stuff. And it's mostly a lot of shit, quite frankly. Uh but uh, we can actually just um, Maybe I need more pockets. Just sell it all. Oh, quick saving. Yeah, let's just pick all of this up so we can, yeah, so we can get encumbered. <laughs> let's see. All of this rubbish. I don't even know if I'm gonna... If I'm gonna use any of that. This can be useful though. This one as well, depending on the character. Uh, we got a couple of them in our party that cannot jump at all. Uh, Sorrow we need to keep. 
Now one of them don't even know. <laughs> What's that? They sold the letters. That we cannot throw away. Send it to the worst and just send it to Carla. She's strong. Yeah, we probably got a lot of stuff to sell. And we do have the checkpoint here, the TB. That's curious. Where? What is that? A lot of gold. That's nice. Got some more reading material here. For those of you reading the whole stuff. In my first playthrough I went around uh, like just reading everything that was put in front of me so. I give you the chance to pause it through everything but I'm not going to be reading uh, everything. Probably important stuff to the... Uh, Curious. Gold necklace. Wait, was it something? <laughs> Why is everyone jumping here? Keep, wait. Ah, oh, he saw something. You see, he's pointing. Where? Where? Scratch. Mm, here. What's that? Good boy. Ah, uh, well. Oh, and yeah, and from here we can get to other areas with the boats and whatnot. We will be doing that. Also, why is Carlock not following? Oh, yeah, and we are going to rest. Definitely. What's going on with... Uh... Oh. I think I'm just having a faulty session today. Never mind. We do need to rest. If we're gonna fight everything that's up above. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Let me see what I got here, just so you, so I know. Okay, so it's not much rubbish. I do have a lot of rubbish though. The the dog color. I don't know what. To, I don't even know what to do with the dog. Uh, the dog color. Where's scratch? The real one. Well, it has to be with wheel, I guess. Still, even if it's the summon. Well, it's not. There it is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it, what this is about. The dog color. Uh, we read that already. It has to do something quite shortly. I'm not sure. Well, never mind then. Let's uh, let's rest. Oh, Lacer wants to talk. This guy is still buffing. He's uh, casting buffs and whatnot. He's eager to kill them. Did we make the right choice, guys? What's Ever going on? Since we shared each other's flesh, I've caught you looking at me with oh. eyes. And either like a coward or a fool. Damn. Tremble. She caught perhaps me. The parasite has weakened you. Or perhaps. Perhaps you still long for my taste. Fuck. 
Guys, she got me. God damn it, I'm in love with a frog. Uh, yeah, she didn't like it. Uh, I promise her she'll stop. I did not say it was unwelcome. Oh, she likes it. <laughs> okay. Flattery of her admirers. Besides, I can't deny the lure of your taste. Oh, damn. Sweet, yes. But also bitter as ginger. Tempt me. Tempt me. Fucking hell. Fuck. What do I do? Ah, oh, I don't know. I mean, shit, I don't know how to talk to uh, romantic companions, to be quite frankly. I'm gonna go with this one. You are exceptional amongst our pack. Oh, well, you are clearly their leader, and they look to you for guidance. That I admire. Very well. I will claim you once you have taken to rest. Oh, shit. I already made a whole episode on that, thinking I was not gonna uh, have it again, because uh, the, way I, the way I'm aiming this series, I really thought people were gonna disagree with me on the decisions, and I was not gonna have any more of that. Uh... Oh, I can ask that. Oh, to be quite frank, if I do that, she's probably gonna get pissed off. Is she not? I mean, let's do it anyway. If it if we fuck up, we fuck up. Let's not uh, load safe and whatever. Why would a lesser act spark greater desire in you? Overheated grappling that wastefully eats into time better spent resting our muscles. She doesn't like it. I can keep going. I thought she was gonna be like, fuck it and, and leave. Drum, uh, war drum. That sounds like her. My, my, my results. I remember your heartbeat from before. Quick, light, like a frightened. Oh, uh, why is she bashing on me? She just I'll said she liked me. Mind. Perform well, and perhaps I'll consider it. Ah, Enough. okay. I have given you my word. Do not be late. Ah, okay. It seems like nothing else is going on. No one else needs to say anything. Let's... Yeah, let's just rest. Okay. Hazel appears at your bunk. Her eyes raging with desire. Damn, guys, this you time I have to censor it and blur it. Tonight. No, probably not because it's not gonna be in the in the, in the thumbnail, probably. Ah, and it's just a flash. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like a, another sex scene. <laughs> They're not sex scenes, but yeah, you know what I mean. Curious, I took of you completely, yet your body seems no more worse for wear. Perhaps I might find use for it again. Guys, I'm not entirely sure, but I think, I think my game is just uh, being faulty today. Uh, might have been, the, might, might have thing. Ah, well, we can't, we, we can't talk about anything else, so we're just gonna do that. The dog wants to talk, by the way. Uh, let's bring Will. Let's bring Will and let's... 
Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot we don't have that anymore. <laughs> Wait, is it me? At least things have stayed interesting. No, I put it on someone. I'm pretty sure I put animal speaking on someone. Huh? Faith will guide me. I did not. Well, if, if in any case, I do have this. Where's the dog? There it is. Let's see. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds. Oh, he brought me a bag. And what do you got there? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. It's a bone. I, I thought of you when I saw it. Well, we had this conversation before. We're not gonna do it again. It's kind of painful. Yeah, his color also has uh, runes. Well, I got a bone. Can use this right now. Throw. Does he go for it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very well. Yeah, we were going back, heading back to the... To the... To the other sovereign. Actually, we can just... Uh... Yeah, we can just do this. Right. This is where we're gonna start a massive fight, by the way. Oh, we got the trade. Oh, I'm gonna lose the traders. Shit. Actually, before getting into anything. Actually, guys, I forgot. But the my flayer. Carla, get out of there. The my flayer got, uh, gave me a mission. Towards the tower that we're gonna be looking into here. So actually, we might want to do that before getting into the fight and everything. So I'm just gonna make a quick cut, gonna sell a lot of rubbish, and we'll see. Uh, I'll see you later. We are back for uh, from the intermission. We got how much gold? Uh, about. 2000 something i don't know not bad and yeah um as i said before the cuts we can't really get fighting yet we need to get to the tower so let's just take this uh yeah There's a few things the guy asked me to get. Uh, did he not? Wait, hold on. Uh... There it is, Tongue of Madness, Mushroom, and some Timask Spores. And those we fight, we find in the, in the Arcane Tower, I believe. However... I'm not entirely sure. 
Yeah, see, we got the... We got the mission off. Just killing the, the other... Sovereign as well. And I'm not really entirely sure how we're gonna make it there because... Ah, uh, well, there's the boat in that direction, but that's not where we're gonna go. Ah, I see. That's just it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That guy with the noise is kind of weird. But yeah, then in the tower there is a, there is a, a few things very interesting that you guys might want to pay attention once we make it there because it's quite interesting if it's fairly interesting and yeah it's just um, it's going to advance a lot in towards the story and more importantly the stories that we want to unravel uh, I don't want to make like spoiler but it's a very important character for our series. Considering that we're trying to make our uh, our character have some sort of uh, background story. Wait, this is the things, right? Yeah. If we fail it, we don't get the uh, the item. Sorry for the cut. I wa I got kind of lost while while blabbing about and trying to tease people into uh, something interesting happening in the near future uh, but yeah no I'm just gonna tell you it concerns Lacell and well this wasn't intended at the beginning I thought I was gonna have like uh, ouch Carlock I thought I was gonna have like several uh, as many romances as I could just for the sake of the series but it seems like it seems like Lacell is gonna be there, like the wife of this uh, paladin. So yeah. This is the work of a ballet, a land shark. Land shark. Damn. Why is that one not? This is not even a... yeah. I'm an idiot. Actually, we should go around there, quite probably. Just gonna blow that one. Half this oh. drow's body is crushed. Must have fallen from pretty high up. Let's see. A real material right there. Gold. What is this? Silk gland. Ah, okay. Oof, everyone, everyone failing it. Huh? The hell? Very well. Never mind then. I thought. Perfect ring of mushroom. Hmm. Perhaps something's missing. Yeah, I do believe I'm having a faulty game today. I don't know what's uh, what's going on with that. I didn't pick up something, did I? Let's see. What's this one, right? Hmm. No clue. I might have to take a look at, uh, at that. But yeah, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, I almost died there. Uh, this is the tower. The arcane tower. And... Actually, no. Uh, guys, come on. 
to make it through here, we're gonna, as usual, take Will. Ground. Better watch out. Yep. So as you see, something's looking at us there. And as soon as we get caught, it's the turn-based mode. We got this Tourette's. Um, this is um, arcane magic, sort of like automatons and, and whatnot. So, two things here. Um, these towers... You can defeat with strength or with electric. And Eldritch Blast is strength as far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm not entirely sure, but it does hit them. And... Oh, I I'm right in the middle. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... We just take turn base mode off and we run. Oh, there's another one there. We wait for it and we do it again, and that's about it. Uh, I reckon some people will get mad at me doing this, but in reality, that's how it's supposed to be played, I think. Nonetheless, welcome to the Arcane Tower. Here we have a lot of things to discover that are very important to the story. So. I reckon, just to see that, that I can make it here. Oh, shit. Jump. There. Turn base mode. Get behind this. Pick it off. Just wait for it again. And go at it. There we go. So let's see now. Got some things over there. Some junk to be uh bellows. Okay. Some junk to be sold. What is this? Dearest Ire. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know if you're coming back. If you'll have, if you'll even read this message. But if you do come back, could you wait for me? I'll only be gone for a few 10 days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower with nothing but uh, Bernard to fill these holes. I don't know how much longer I can take this. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't shake the thought of how different things might have been if only I'd been less stubborn. Working on your lightning inventions, my magic, eating together, laughing at your stupid puns, waking up next to you, despite everything, I still love you. Uh, so please, if you read this, can you wait? I'll be back. I won't be long. Forever yours, Lenore. So the story here, guys, is that these two were a couple, obviously, but they had different fields of studies. Um, they had different fields of studies. And the, the husband, I think, he was uh, the creator of the arcane stuff which is like in this world uh, the end world sort of thing it's um ma uh, technology looking uh things oh my god i really should try and get a star on, on board okay uh we'll listen to me <laughs> in that one skybreaker Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's shit. <laughs> but yeah. And this, uh, everything, this machines and, and stuff, it's gonna look more technology-ish, automatons, 
sort of static it's supposed to be it experience this place is great looks really cool oh something there that's the towers it's locked Come on, Will, I believe in you. Or else I will bring a Starion. Nah, that, that doesn't really work. Like, I should bench someone else to bring him. Jesus. I'm gonna run out of tools, mate. Would you be happier if I use an inspiration? No. Nope. I'm saving. <laughs> I don't care. Really? Oh. I... Okay, so what do we do here? Potion of invisibility. I do not have any. I think I I sold them. Yeah. Uh I doubt. That I can make it. Uh There. Oof, auto save. Can you finish walking? No, it, it, it's still looking at me. This wasn't too bright of an idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was no way that could see me. So. Okay, nice. That one's gone. Magic missile. Three. As I said before, <clears throat> a lot of stuff in this tower. So, quite frankly, if I need to lockpick any more doors or chests. Uh, I'm just gonna save. Uh, we I, I wasted m m most of my stuff. So this lift does not work. Just so you know. This thing runs on magic. There must be a way to get it working. Yes, precisely. Oh, and in this tower, guys, if you are uh, somewhat following along and whatnot, read everything. Read everything. Broken machinery. Broken machinery. But yeah, you do want to read everything. It's um, it's not only important, but it's very interesting as well. Uh, the beginning of this book probably declares it to be played by Dame Inia, followed by an extensive introduction and. Uh, 23 pages of notes on the text. Though the book itself seems barely touched, one stanza it's encircled twice. There is a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive. And in its wake. It tramples everything. 
will kill the rest so that the one can thrive. These things might not make sense. But I'm partial to heroic sagas myself. Of course. And here lads. Magic nearby. I can feel it. This is the item that was. That's what I call it. This is the item. The so-called at some point best item in the game. The chest of mundane because you'll see as its name uh, its name says it's just a lot of um, common shit but if you pick it up nice trick. yep you see it's not mundane what we got it's a uh, gold uh, hard flight bomb these things and you know the scrolls as well the thing is this at some point was the best <laughs> item in the game because you could just carry it uh, and pick it up and you will have um let's bring the party by the way shit where am i okay let's go Wait. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like the look of it now. It's uh, I am down at the bottom. Anyway, you could pick it up and have it as if it was a bag of holding. And but you could stuff uh, heavy things like barrels, and they would not. Wait. A chest. It's <laughs> I can feel it's magic. It's bugged. Yeah, it's empty now. So for example, if I was to uh back then, let's say. Uh let's say this sword. Mm. You see it's uh where is it? There it is. It's zero point nine of weight. Well, that's not weird at all, so it's not really a good example. And here it's 0 0.05 on the weight, you know, so you could just have a lot of stuff there uh, in case you decided to pick it up. But it was not intended, apparently it was a bug and they fixed it. So yeah. Let's see what we got around. There is lots to be seen. We need to fix the... Oops. To fix the lift. So yeah, we want to take our trusty man of the field, Will. Uh, let's see. Right. Yeah, we need to, uh, we do want to go down here. Just let me see what's over here. Okay. This is a cool place, I think. Wait, we do have, we do have. Who has them? Don't tell me I sold them. No, they are brown. Brown boots. Uh, where are they? Shit. No, 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 I don't recall selling them. Hold on a second, let's see if somehow it's in the chest. Which I don't think.
No. You're shitting me. I saw the the boots. I had the boots of Feather Fall. Uh shit. I must have sold them, right? Without realizing. Well. Just 3 HP. 2. It's nothing. It's the Blade of Frontiers. Uh, this threadbare book looks like it once contained a play, but most of it has been lost to time. Vermin and, uh, uh, and an unfortunate ink spill. Only two full sentences are distinguish distinguishable. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? Well, I'm being a little bit annoying uh, reading everything. But the truth is, we do not want to miss... Oh, look at that. T-Mask. That's what we need. Uh... For the Mind Flayer, our Mind Flayer friend. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, is it? No. The other one was uh, Tongue, uh, Tongue of Mama. Uh, there it is. I assume. They would be close to each other. Okay. Yeah, we got that. Let's see what's here. Okay. Nothing. So we keep going down. And the thing is... Oh, that's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Did I really missed uh, the boots? How? These are the fucking boots, these are not. Feather lace and flexible soles, uh... No, these are not. Am I really wearing those? LOL. One or two things, I might have missed them. Or I... These are the stupid bots. Why didn't I see them? Guys... Ah, I put them on, on myself. Didn't I? No. Ah, so it's cast then. Ah, there it is. Apologies. I'm, uh, I am not on my sharpest today, it seems. But yeah, anyway. Making mistakes is part of the whatever, is it not? <laughs> That's how the saying goes. Oh, perception fail. I don't have a show. This is the other side of the tower. Oh my god. Touch. No, don't even think about it. Don't even think about failing this rope, mate. I am going to load them all, I, I swear. Oh, 
Oh my god. Uh, five. Five save files, guys. Five throws. Five load screens. Just because I don't want to lose any more thieves. Anyway, the door's open so we can get here now. Remember that flower, guys? Those are bloom. We've seen it before. It drains magic. And if we have it, we can't cast, uh, we cannot cast spells. It drains magic. And, uh, well, you you can have any uses for this. You can throw it on fights, even, you know. To denigrate a uh, magician. Little scandal. But yeah, more than anything, we actually need this. Something over there. Oh. Ah, yeah, this is a pipe for, pipe for the uh, droid. This is what powers the left. There it is. See, the automatons are going quiet mode. It's powering the whole thing now. Those are automatons, it seems, as well. If the textures would have loaded, it would have looked amazing. <laughs> Um, the anti-magic properties of Susur Tree Flowers. Uh, the Hurst. For those knowing about Susur Trees, their magical properties have always been a topic of debate. Not only their ability to create an anti-magic aura, which is complete enough that even those unattuned to the weave, uh, the weave can feel its effect, but also, and most interestingly, to those living in the world above, the ways its roots Parks and flowers can be harnessed to magic uh, to make magic items. Rumors of such items are rare, but spread in settlements bordering the Underdark. Their existence, however, has never been confirmed by any of our clerics, nor by any other reputable scholar. I hypothesized that these items are n no mere legends, and indeed, in this treatise, I will endeavor. The, uh, to explain how I myself created items that have anti-magic properties and that I and that use the magical absorption of social tree flowers as a power source. Uh, lines have been drawn on the following pages as if the author intended to fill them with writing, but the, remain, uh, the remainder of the thin book is, uh, is blank. How do you like my English, guys? I, I think, I need to practice, especially my reading. But yeah, the elevator lift is fixed. Let's go up. Let's meet the party. Now we can use it. Let's go up. And up again. I think this is where we are. Shit, I don't even remember. I think we're uh, one more floor up. to live in more interesting times. No, it was down. <laughs> Let's go down.
Wait, where am I? Ah, oh, there I. Defender of the people. All is well that ends. That's true. As as could have. Now all of us are going to go up. And here is what uh, the things are gonna be interesting. Uh, remember to pick up the. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Um, apologies. To pick up the paintings and a lot of money. This is where things start to be interesting. You see this thing in the table. The careful art of Tirsus ciphers. An engraved disc of Ichthyanki origin containing a complex cipher that can uh, decrypt ancient Gith dialects. A useful discovery if one should encounter such archaic writings. We're gonna pick that up. The writing on this torn out strip of paper, shaky and blotted with tears, making it barely legible. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands uh, for just a while? What we just got, the Yithyanki disc, it's a translator, basically. And we got a lot of stuff here in this level regarding Yithyanki uh, tales and stuff. Look at this one. The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. You examine them closely, but can't make much sense of them. Using the cipher you found, you might be able to reveal the disc's meaning. We uh, investigation seek a pattern. We don't need to. We just got the the translator. Uh, use the cipher uh, the cipher you found to uh, decode the symbols. A pattern forms as you gaze at the disc, and from within that pattern. A story. A story. Attention the here, lads. Of the comet, part one. So it was that we were free from gate shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Vlakith would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Vlakith seized the empire against the mother's wishes, but Gith had nurtured a son, Orpheus, prince of the comet, the true heir. He knew Vlakith's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The war of the comet had begun. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one, given how expertly it was encoded. Lazel will surely want to know of this. Indeed. Huge disc. Are these Githyanki markings? Lazel might know. So, guys, from what we just found, it could seem. And look at that. Stories of Faerun, Gith, and the Mind Flayer. Rose to Darkness. Guys. From what we just found, it's highly possible that Blackith is a fake. And with that, I am going to be um, saving so we can end the episode. It was quite long. I appreciate you making all the way um, to the end of the episode. As I said, and as I've been showing, the whole thing over here we're gonna read when I read entirely but we are gonna continue that in the next episode because it's a lot of stuff once again thank you so much comment like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one see ya